Today's generation of young people is the largest in human history. With a population of 1.8 billion, 10 to 24 year olds now comprise over a quarter of the global population. Nearly 90% live in low and middle income countries where they constitute a far greater proportion of the population. Despite this, adolescents have been a neglected age group in health. Many believe that the time between puberty and adulthood is the healthiest time of life, with little impact on later life health and well-being. While adolescence is indeed an age of opportunity, it is one in which opportunities are too often lost due to premature parenthood, serious injury and infections, mental disorders, substance abuse, among other health issues. Hi, I'm Susan Sawyer, Professor of Adolescent Health at the University of Melbourne and director of the Centre for Adolescent Health at the Royal Children's Hospital. And I'm George Patton, Professor of Adolescent Health Research at the University of Melbourne and Director of Adolescent Health Research at the Centre for Adolescent Health. Together with colleagues from around the world, we are delighted to be your instructors for this course. Adolescence is often an uncomfortable time, but one which is formative. It is a time when our adult self first emerges. It is a time when we first start making decisions independently of our parents. It is truly a time when we lay the foundations for future health and well-being. And adolescence is increasingly recognised as a time for investing in health, with benefits that continue across the life course. National governments and global health and development agencies are now starting to pay greater attention to young people, knowing that youth health together with education and employment are the key to future economic prosperity. In this course, we'll delve into the why, what and how of optimising health during adolescence. We'll explore why adolescence is starting earlier and ending later, how puberty and adolescent brain development may shape health, how families, peers and the media influence health and well-being, and how what happens in adolescence may affect the start to life of the next generation. We'll review the major health issues that affect young people, including sexual and reproductive health, mental health, injuries and non-communicable diseases. And we'll look at ways of addressing these issues through policy, through practice and programming. And we'll also explore how young people themselves can have a greater role in determining their own health. Global Adolescent Health will be relevant for anyone with an interest in the health and well-being of young people. You don't need to have any particular background to benefit from this course. Whether you're a young person, parent, health professional, teacher, policymaker or programmer, we hope that you'll come away from this course with a greater understanding of young people and how we as individuals, communities and nations can improve their health and well-being. Will I see you online, George? I hope so, Susan. We look forward to seeing you too.